I'm sure you know what painters do. Maybe you've even done it. Have you ever helped out painting around the house or perhaps on a summer job? But how do you think the White House stays white or those offices and those skyscrapers get finished? Skilled IUPAT commercial painters. That's how. IUPAT painters are thoroughly trained to be the best and most qualified painting professionals for all commercial projects. Painters apply paint and other decorative finishes to residential, commercial, and other structures. They are able to choose the right paint or finish for the surface to be covered by taking into account durability, ease of handling, method of application, and customer desires. Some IUPAT painting projects require an artistic touch for the restoration of historic buildings, and IUPAT painters are well prepared to handle these and any other painting job. What do commercial painters do? Typically, a commercial painter will be tasked with the final stages of a construction job in places like office buildings, hospitals, and shipping centers. The finishing touches, so to speak. The types of tasks performed by a commercial painter on the job are varied. You may fill cracks, holes, or joints with caulk, putty, plaster, or other fillers. Cover surfaces with drop cloths to protect surfaces during painting. Smooth surfaces using sandpaper, scrapers, brushes, steel wool, or sanding machines. Paint spills, dust from sanding, and other materials must be cleaned and removed from a completed job site. As a commercial painter, you'll paint walls, buildings, and other structural surfaces using brushes, rollers, and spray guns as laid out in the work plan or specification. What kind of knowledge do I need? The kind of knowledge required to perform this job well is as varied as the tools and techniques you will learn to use. You'll need to know the federal, state, and provincial regulations that govern your trade, and undergoing training will keep you and others safe on the job. You'll need to learn project management if you hope to move up to foreman, superintendent, or project manager. Customer service. You may be dealing with clients on the job, and it always helps to be good at it. Communication is key, and it will be both written and verbal. Engineering and technology. The more you know, the faster you can progress in your expertise. The basic skills needed to be a good commercial painter are the same as those that make up a professional tradesperson. You'll need to be effective at listening skills, listening to others, not interrupting, and asking the right questions, problem solving, thinking about the pros and cons of different ways to solve a problem. A basic knowledge of math, chemistry, and color theory are crucial to the commercial painter who will need to apply that knowledge and use these skills and applications specific to the painting trade. Of course, the bulk of your job is going to be the handling of paints, solvents, tools, and materials, and to be an excellent commercial painter, you will have to master them. Let's look at the physical abilities you'll need to make a good commercial painter. If you have issues with your hand strength or working with hand tools, this may not be the job for you. You must have balance, endurance, and be in good physical condition. You can have no chest complaints or allergies related to paints, solvents, or dust. Excellent vision. You will need to apply paint accurately and make precise visual judgments. Excellent hand-eye coordination. This cannot be stressed enough. If there ever was a trade requiring an eagle eye, it's commercial painting. The ability to solve arithmetic problems quickly and accurately is necessary to be precise and accurate in the use of your tools and materials at every step of the way. So as you can see, there is a lot more to being a commercial painter than just applying paint. You'll learn a number of tools and use a number of techniques in this trade, many of which are quite physical and almost all require a great attention to detail. If you don't have these physical abilities, then you might want to consider a less demanding trade. What kind of personality fits this trade? You might ask yourself, what does personality have to do with being a commercial painter? You'll need to exhibit suitable appearance and personal hygiene. Exhibit proper attitude and behavior on job sites, including private residences and other occupied buildings. Dealing with difficult customers in a professional and courteous manner. Interpret written and verbal instructions well and recognize the importance of cooperation and interaction with related occupations on a job site. And like all trades, you are part of a team, so teamwork is essential. Using computers is a fact of life in any job these days. The trades are no exception. You must be willing to learn new technology and techniques. It all boils down to being able to work well with others, communicate clearly, and be dependable. It takes more than just a keen eye and steady hand. It takes maturity and professionalism too. You might ask yourself, what kind of education do I need to be a commercial painter? 
Your credentials will be nationally recognized in the industry and can open the door for you to get a job with a good company anywhere in the country. And the IUPAT can also assist you in furthering your education. Now, as you continue in your career after completing your apprenticeship, you'll want to pursue additional training and certifications, and this will require more classroom time and on-the-job training. What is the job outlook? The outlook for the commercial painting trade is a bright one, as we mentioned in the introduction. There are going to be many large construction and renovation projects initiated in the coming years, so you'll be busy. So just to recap, painters apply paint, stain, varnish, and other finishes to residential and commercial structures. They are able to choose the right paint or finish for the surface to be covered by taking into account durability, ease of handling, method of application, and customer desires. If you aren't 100% confident in your mental and physical ability to work in such a fast-paced, detail-oriented and ever-changing environment, or your ability to handle hazardous materials and chemicals, or follow rules and safety protocol, then you might want to reconsider your interest in commercial painting. Are you right for this trade? Is this trade right for you? This is an important question, and one you should consider carefully. Explore your bold future today by considering a career in the IUPAT.